Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What a day this is. We are rejoicing in this day that God has made, and I hope and pray that you're along with me glad in it. My heart is always glad. I'm always uplifted um, by the power of God's word, and I'm always uplifted by the power of prayer. That's right. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes us, and prayer changes things around us. And we've been praying for the last five days as we walk meticulously and slowly through Psalm 23. And we're at day number six, and we're praying through uh, Psalm 23. And we're going to be in verse three again today. We're going to be in Psalm 23 in verse three. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord um, lead, makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. And verse three says, he restores my soul. Amen. The Lord restores our soul as he is our shepherd and we are his sheep. Uh, we want to pray uh, for the restoration of, of God's blessing in our lives. And specifically today, we want to lift up two things. We want to pray that God will restore our souls from extended exposure to evil. That's right. That there are times as we walk through this life and walk through this world that we live in, it's mean, it's evil. And when we have been exposed to evil uh, for extended times, we need to be restored in our souls. So we want to pray that God will restore our souls from our extended exposure to evil. Then secondly, we want to pray that God will restore our souls from extended seasons of exhaustion. Sometimes just going through the work day, just going through a particular day, or just getting through a situation, a circumstance, a battle, a fight, or whatever it is we go through, these extended seasons can land us in a place of exhaustion. And so we just want to pray that God would restore our souls from extended seasons of exhaustion. Come on, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, we love you and we honor you and we bless and praise your holy name. God, we thank you for just being the Lord. We thank you for being self-existing. We thank you for being eternal. We thank you for being supreme. And we thank you for being the creator. We thank you that we are your creation. We thank you, Lord God, that you are our shepherd, that you cover us, Lord, that you are our companion along the way, that you care for us in a special way. We pray and thank you, Lord, that we, we won't want for anything, that you meet our needs and you supply our resources when they are empty and expired and exhausted. We pray and thank you, Lord, that you make us to lie down in green pastures, that you give us places to rest and recline and to relax. We praise you, Lord, that you lead us beside still waters, that you put our minds at peace and our hearts at peace, and you even put our surroundings at peace, oh God. And today, Lord God, we lift up and ask you to restore our souls. Lord, we know that as our shepherd, you lead us and guide us along the path of righteousness. But Lord God, even as you lead and guide, we still got to go through extended exposure to this world, the wickedness and the evil that is in the world. Lord, we see it with our eyes and we see it and when we walk through our communities and our neighborhood. We see it when we see things on our phones and our tablets and our televisions and our computers, Lord. We see evil all around us. Lord, we hear it in the things that are said to us, that are said around us, and even said about us, Lord. We hear it in what other people's conversations are, Lord. Just wherever we go, we seem to be surrounded by evil and exposed to evil, Lord. So we pray that today you would literally restore our souls. Lord, help us to realign ourselves with your word, Lord. Help us to realign our thoughts with your word, Lord. Help our meditations to be upon your word day and night, Lord, that you might restore our souls from the exposure that we have to evil. We know, Lord, that the enemy has come to our, to our lives to kill and to steal and to destroy. But Jesus, you told us in John chapter 10, verse 10, that you've come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So, Lord, as the enemy tries to drain us from life, drain the life out of us, Lord, restore back to us everything we need. Lord, restore our souls. 
Lord, we pray that you would extort our souls from extended seasons of exhaustion. Lord, sometimes we feel like we're always fighting uphill and we find ourselves exhausted at the end of the day. Lord, restore our souls this evening from extended seasons of exhaustion. Lord, we're fighting and trying to make it in this world and trying to make ends meet and trying to get ahead in our careers and on our jobs and do the best that we can with the resources as limited as they be that we have, Lord. And we are exhausted at the end of our work day, at the end of our work week, at the end of our work lives, God. And so we pray that you would give us restoration, Lord, in these seasons of exhaustion. Lord, somebody's been battling a sickness. And I pray, Lord God, even as they feel exhausted and ready to give up and throw in the towel, that you'll come in, Lord, and you'll restore back to them the joy of their salvation. Someone's been fighting in prayer for their loved one to get off of some drug addiction or some alcohol addiction or some other addiction, God, and they've been fighting and, and battling, God, and they, they're exhausted. They're at the point of giving up and throwing in the towel in the fight, Lord. I pray that you would restore their soul even right now in Jesus' name. Someone has been fighting for their marriage, Lord. Somebody has been fighting for their spouse. They've been fighting for their loved one, God. And I pray that they would not get weary, oh God, in well-doing because you would restore their soul. I even pray for someone, Lord, who is unsaved today, who may be uh, outside the ark of safety, outside of the love of Jesus Christ and accepting him by faith for their forgiveness of sin, Lord. And I pray they would accept Jesus is loving forgiveness by faith today and that you would restore their soul, that you would give them life and life eternally in his name. Thank you, Lord, for being our shepherd and thank you for restoring our soul for extended times and exposure to evil. Thank you for restoring our soul in extended seasons of exhaustion. We give you praise, glory, and honor for it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Again, church family, thank you for praying with us. Um, this was day number six, as we're just walking through Psalm 23, and we read from Psalm 23 and verse three, he restores my soul, amen. And so I want you to go in the restoration of the Lord today. We'll be back tomorrow to continue this prayer series. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.